Okay, okay. There you are. All right, everybody, take two. I s okay, view request. We're joining. Give it a second. Hi. Everybody that's waiting. Oh, here he is. Hello, Fabian. How are you? <laughs> Julian, I'm sorry. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good. Thank you. How are you? Thanks for having me. Good. I'm so glad yeah, that I'm, we I'm could do this too. today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Listen, um, give everybody a quick bio on who you uh, are so my name and is what Julian. you do. I'm an Italian 3D artist. I also go by, go by the name of Disney Viper. I'm a 3D visual artist who does uh, recently been doing abandoned car renders. You might have been seeing these. Um, and I've been doing daily renders. So like I, I do one render every single day, one artwork every single day. I've been doing this for the past six years and I've never missed one day. And uh, yeah, that, that's that's what I do. And lately I've been doing the um, the abandoned car renders, the abandoned supercars. There, there, I mean, I, there really is no words, but I just have to say, so you've been doing one every yes. single day for six years. <laughs> oh my been, God. That's, yeah, yeah. that's quite the portfolio. I, I, back I in mean, February 2017, <laughs> and so in February, uh, 2023 would be six, the six year anniversary. And, uh, up until now, I think I have like 25, 2600. Wow. <laughs> I, I wouldn't even know where to begin. It, that's that's absolutely insane. Now I have to ask you, how like how did you get started in it all? What what piqued your curiosity uh, so and made you want to do this? In general, so I, I started doing music like a long time ago. So like I, I, I was into music production. And once I started doing like my first couple of uh real tracks uh, and releasing them, I needed some art or also, you know, uh, visualizers for them. And uh, first I was just Googling, you know, where I can get free uh, visualizers and stuff. That's where I found Beeple um, or Mike Winkleman. And uh, I saw what he was doing and he's, he was pretty much doing 3D artwork. Like, this is pretty interesting. I gotta, I, I wanna try that out. And he's also the reason I started doing all of this and daily renders, cause he's been doing daily renders as well for, I think he's in 15 years now. And um, so, yeah, so I started doing that as a as sort of a way to learn 3d very quickly and it, it, like after a few months it it uh it started you know to to be a lot more fun than the music itself and i completely switched over to just 3d <laughs> <laughs> wow that's that's pretty remarkable yeah, yeah. when something's meant to be it's meant to be right <laughs> That's pretty insane. So I have to tell you, I was scrolling over the weekend and I just came across one of your pictures and I, I just, I couldn't believe it. I, I, so I thought it was real. I mean, it took me, it took me quite a bit to be like, oh my God, thank you so that's much. not real. That's how <laughs> I good you are. Thank you. I mean, it's unbelievable. <laughs> um, okay, so let me ask you a question. Uh, what is the deal with everybody stealing your stuff and not giving you proper credit? Because well, I'm noticing I mean, that I guess too. That's the, the the poison that comes with with uh, you know things going viral. There is not much you can do about it. Uh, but it, it I have never seen it with my art in, in this um, in this size, like uh, this amount. So you know, all it takes is one person who doesn't credit someone, and then that account you know i don't know for example those images then get viral and then people take take those images from there and because there is no credit they also don't don't uh, credit me for that so it's it's not the fault of all the accounts reposting it's the fault of that first account who basically doesn't credit um which has happened on tiktok a lot yeah. as well like people th there was one account that basically reposted uh or like made a video about my renders and uh didn't credit okay. me uh, so I hit him up and he was so sorry, like that was actually super nice of him, but he was so sorry because uh, that account said he had 60 followers before the video. So he didn't think that the video would go viral and now it has like 7 million views. And, and uh, so I was like, oh my yeah, God. Like, mistakes happen, but it starts with something like this, somebody who maybe not even has a bad intention of stealing something accidentally goes viral and then everybody gets it from there. So, it, you know, there's not a lot you can do. 
what I don't like that much is, you know, I, I, I always have my signature in my renders. Like every single one of my artworks have my, has my signature at the bottom. And some people have cropped that out. And I was like, uh, yeah. I, I've noticed, yeah. Absolutely. Well, that's what I understand. Like uh, on on a, a platform like this, everybody's yeah. pretty good with sharing. Yeah, yeah. Just give the credit. Especially like that's the, the it. Overall, three D world. Like you know, the like three D three D community is overall so so nice. Like even really big accounts, they always credit everybody. And uh, you know, ninety percent of people have credited me for these as well. There are just some some people who didn't, but. Uh, Overall, I was I was uh, over overwhelmed by how many people shared it. It was crazy. Oh well, I, I, absolutely because Thank your you. stuff is just truly stunning. It really is. It's amazing artwork, and that brings me to my next question. Well, what's that's, next? that's what I've been thinking as well. So I um, last year and this year I've been diving a lot into the NFT scenes, um, and I do want to keep being in there, but in a different way. Um, I do want to create artworks based off of these, um, like physical artworks, I mean, based off of these renders in a very, very limited um, edition, maybe even just one of ones. I don't know yet, but um, I'm currently looking for a company to work with to uh, print these out in a super high quality, in a very big size, and maybe um, like, I don't know, maybe canvas or on metal would be the idea. And uh, in that would be amazing that, to sort of uh, start off these things. I'm also looking for gallerists who are willing to share, like, you know, to, to exhibit the artworks. That would be amazing. Um, and yeah, I'm currently just setting all this up because, you know, the, the amount of, uh, of, well, the response that I got for these artworks was surprising to me as well. So I, I basically have to now only start to, <laughs> to, to organize all of this. Well, I, absolutely. It's probably going to be a bit of a challenge to do all of it, but you know what? There's got to be someone out there with a gallery that has a brain that's like, you know what? I got to get this guy because if the, if the time's going to come where they're going to be fighting over you without a doubt, <laughs> yeah. when they all realize the stuff that you're doing, I've never seen anything like it. Thank you. It's remarkable. Absolutely. Um, what else do I want to ask you? What else do I want to ask you? I don't know. I'm just kind of like, you know, flabbergasted at your work. I am. Um, I would love to do something where like I'm in one of your pictures. <laughs> I think that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> I'd make it look cute, just saying. Um, so th that's wonderful. And, you know, I want to tell everybody, um, there's so many people on here. I don't know if you're seeing the comments, but they love you. They love your work. They can't wait to see more of your work. Um, somebody was just asked, when are you going to do another master class? Um, somebody says, ask him about his creative, creative process. process. Um, well, so the, specifically the, 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 um, the abandoned car renders was a little experiment that I tried to do because, uh, if you look at my, Instagram account lower, you see what I usually also do, like sci-fi renders, foggy renders, like pretty much whatever I want to do that day. And most of these are backlit. So they're lit from behind the scene to make it look, you know, it just generally looks better. It makes it look more artsy, more, uh, more dramatic. And I was thinking, like one day I was just trying to figure out, like, how do you make frontal lighting look good? And I couldn't come up with an answer, but I found out, well, camera flash is front light. It's always front light because comes, it comes from the camera. And if I make it intentionally bad, so to say, because it's, it's like almost like an amateur picture, then it might work. And so, so I came up with this, with this camera flash, um, yeah, with this camera flash uh, idea and, and it totally worked out because it's, it's simple. It, it doesn't necessarily look professional, but that, that's what makes it believable, sort of. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that sounds amazing. I have a question. You said um, you do you decide each day? Like, do you have kind of like um, notes where you take, well, I want to do this, 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 and this, or do you literally sit down and every day that's when you get your inspiration um, for what well, you're going to do that day? Really, that day. Like, I don't think a lot about it beforehand. 
Uh, but of course, I mean, there, there, you know, there are daily inspirations everywhere. And sometimes I just go outside and I don't know, I see like a cool light effect somewhere on the floor or a nice puddle or something like that. And then I'm thinking, okay, tomorrow I could do something like something like this, for example. That that amazes me. I have to tell you because I paint. I only recently started painting a couple of years ago, and once I started painting, I saw what you're exactly what you're talking about, like in simple things, yeah. like in the color of the leaves and and the way the sun shines on a tree or something like that, right? But I wish I had that with, where how you have it, where every day you're inspired because. I can't, I have to, I, I mean, something has to really jump out at me in order for me to say, yeah. okay, I want to paint that. I wish I had what you well, have what every day. That would be amazing. That point, honestly, was doing the daily renders because that, that really helps to train my brain to come up with something, even if I'm not inspired, for example. Um, so like, I remember the first two or three months doing daily renders were hell because it was like, Either I, I, I had to make time to, to make a render because, I, you know, my entire day schedule was totally different from what it is now. And I also couldn't come up with ideas sometimes. Okay. And uh, it took, a, yeah, a couple of months to really get into it, to, you know, find a new day schedule, to really always have time for a render no matter what, um, and also to always come up with something. I got to say, I don't, I don't always make the render of that day, that very day. I'm usually one day ahead. Uh, just to be sort of a little bit on the shore side. And for example, okay. if I go on vacation, I work, uh, I do two days, uh, two renders every day just to, you know, have one week of, of free time, for example, um, which is different to some other daily render artists, but uh, it's just the way that I feel most comfortable working. Because I never, I, it's not really as I don't want to miss a day of working. It's more like I, I want to have one image for every day of the year presentable. That That's more the goal. That's remarkable. It really is. Now, let me ask you one more question too. About how long does it take you to uh, do a daily what render? What it is, but um, the, the, the simple things, you know, sometimes I don't have a lot of time. I, I can make one in like 20 minutes. Uh, those are actually the normal car renders I make, like the, the not abandoned ones. Those take like 20 minutes to 30 minutes to make. Yeah. <laughs> That's and, it? Uh, Oh my and God, I'm floored. Ones, they take quite some time longer because I have to add all the details, the dust. I have to think of objects to put into these scenes and stuff. Those take between two and four hours, depending on how, how, how much I'll add. Even that sounds pretty quick to me. But I, I, then again, I don't know anything about digital art, like I, or, or virtual art or anything like that. Uh, well, I'm, it's, it's, it's I'd be lost, like, it's a little bit like <laughs> but it sounds pretty thing. quick. Like, um, there are different types of 3D art, you know, you, you can model something, you can, there are artists who are only there for simulations, only for physics and stuff like that. Uh, I personally don't really enjoy modeling, um, so unless I really have to, I just uh, buy assets or I, you know, there are a bunch of libraries out there where you can. What, what I love doing is developing shaders and, and environments. So a shader in 3D, for example, is how I get my dust. So I tell materials how to react to certain environments. And I basically build the materials corresponding to the scene. And that's what I really love doing. Um, and that's, that's also something that, I, that I'm very proud of, of this dust that I've made, the dust shader I've created uh, for, the abandoned, um, for the abandoned scenes. Um, and the lighting. Uh, so that, that's my big passion. It's like, you know, um, what what would you call it? Like storytelling, basically. That's 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 what I do. Oh, I I understand. I completely understand. I have to I have to go back a little bit. Hold on, I'm gonna scroll back because there were yeah. a couple people asking questions for you. Someone wants to know how did you come up with your <laughs> name, a, okay. Dizzy Viper? Uh, so long story short, it was a, a YouTube name generator. Uh, that was pretty much it. Um, because I yeah I used to do YouTube videos really back in like twenty. 13, 14, I used to, you know, the kid who has got a YouTube dream, you know, doing gaming videos, that was what I did back then. And uh, I was looking for a name. So I was like, okay. I, like, I like animals and I want something, something with animals. So I was just looking through name generators that basically combine a random animal with a random word. And after like the sixth or seventh try, uh, Dizzy Viper came up and that, that's what I kept ever since. Yeah. Dizzy Viper. <laughs>
again yeah, yeah, fate, right. right it just happens <laughs> Well, it is a pretty awesome name. Somebody else is asking, uh, do you have a full-time job or is, do you just freelance um, with your I artwork and everything? I don't have a full-time job, but I do something else mainly. Um, I work at my grandparents' uh, hotel doing <laughs> doing housekeeping, actually, or like whatever, it's, whatever there is to do. Like depending, sometimes, you know, if our cleaning lady has her day off, I do housekeeping or otherwise I'm there for the authorities and stuff like that. Um, and, and uh I do that for a very specific reason, um, and that is because I don't want to financially depend on my art. That's not what I want. Like, mm, it's hard to explain. So, I I tried to do it full time for a while, like art. And um, the thing was, in order to make a living, I had to accept every single job offer I got, pretty much, no matter if I enjoyed it or not. And I quickly realized that I, that I started to lose the passion for my art. Like I, I started to, then I, I turned on the computer and was like, oh my God, now I have to do this, I have to do that. And I didn't really want to. So that's why I started working at my grandparents' hotel. So I have something that pays the bills. And then I can do, I, have, I still have enough time for art on the side, which I can really just choose, um, where I can just choose commissions that I truly enjoy doing. And if, if there are if there is a month where there are no interesting commissions, I don't have to take any. Well, you know, I, I completely understand that. I mean, when you when you have when you have an artistic talent yeah. and it becomes work, it's it's it loses right. its luster like completely. You know, so I I totally understand where right. you're coming and, from and there. So, Absolutely. And that's why I'm, like, you know, you know and, currently I'm chasing this dream of like going full time artist, not commission specifically, but really getting into the art space and I'm like I'm sort of in the door in the door with a foot but I'm still not quite there and it's just a long journey but it you know it's also a fun journey <laughs> but that's the big dream so at the moment yeah <laughs> okay also you are in Italy in where Stato, in Italy so are you the very north uh, I'm actually so close to the border I could pretty much walk to Austria uh yeah i'm like in the middle of the Alps. oh really and that's also why i have a german accent uh because uh my mother language is german like pretty much everybody here speaks german uh yeah so <laughs> that's okay. why my my accent might not sound so italian <laughs> <laughs> yeah i have to tell you i was kind of worried in the beginning because i have a very difficult mm -hmm. time understanding people with accents because a lot of times i have to kind of lip read at the same time to fully understand. And I was so glad when you started talking. Well, I have a lot of, I have yes, a lot I of totally understand like, you without a problem. Because, um, something uh, I, I just want to mention, like uh, I do actually stream on Twitch twice a week where I one like Saturdays, I pretty much just review my viewers art because I have a lot of artists in my, my, in my chat as well. And Tuesdays I actually stream my process. So like people can watch me work <laughs> if anybody's Absolutely. interested, yeah. <laughs> That's, that's amazing. Do you want to put uh, up your handle for everybody here, so they know? Basically, twitch.tv slash the digital viper. Like, that's my name. Okay, you know, I'm also yeah. going to put it, when I post this up, I'll put yeah. it in there too, yeah. so everybody knows. Okay? All right, awesome. This was fantastic speaking with you. And I, I you learned a on. lot. Thank Seriously, you. this is amazing. And you have, so, you have so many people that love what you do. And I am completely flabbergasted and impressed by what you do seriously and i would love to do another oh, live nice. with you in the future for absolutely for sure. fantastic um for everybody that's watching this is the dizzy viper make sure you follow him um we're also going to put up his handle twitch, for yeah. uh what did you say it was twitch twitch okay for that um this is magnesium media obviously make sure you follow make sure you subscribe also all the full uh the full videos are going to be up for subscribers if you're missing this well i guess they're, they're not going to know what i'm saying anyway <laughs> all right so listen you have a wonderful day i, I appreciate this really fine. this Thank was fantastic you. and uh, i hope you have a wonderful day too and, and everybody in chat as well you too Thanks thank so you much. so Bye. much i'll see you soon